I have created another channel to upload more, more content for you guys. I swear you are the best and deserve more forex knowledge. So today I'm going to be raising a dollar account using the given knowledge in this group to $1,000 and then withdrawing it to leave another dollar for the next video. I really, really hope that you will enjoy and learn a few things going from point A to point B. I'm going to be showing you video references on the SageX channel for the betterment of your understanding. Let's begin with a video glimpse on SageX channel to direct your path as you are raising a uh, dollar to $1,000. Hopefully by the end, you will do the same. I'm sure by now you are in my WhatsApp channel, so I'm going to be reposting the BB strategy in the settings. I'm sure most of you did not see it in my Telegram channel, as you've been asking, and the new subscriber as well. You can also see the BB strategy in my WhatsApp. So when raising a small account, I'm going to be starting with Vif Jump 50. I'm going to first start by drawing my trend lines. Uh, my trend line would, would, would define the trend, as you can see. It's going down at the moment but it has reached uh, the down liquidity so now it's going for buying liquidity so if you can see that it has failed to break the trend line and also failed to break properly the middle bollinger band so it currently becomes a fake out so in the midst of this it means that it is a strong confirmation for a buy I have placed my two positions. Three days later. As you can see, it has reached uh, buying liquidity. So now that it has reached buying liquidity, time for me to close. We're in three dollars forty-one cents. So from ninety-six cents, we are now in three dollars fifty-two cents. What can we do now? This means that we can increase our positions a little bit on the next trade. Uh, now that we are in three dollars forty one cents, it means, as the video says, we can increase more positions so that we can get more money. So we are not done with this trade particularly yet. It has reached the top liquidity part, which is the major area of resistance. So it has to come back down again. So I'm going to change the arrow so that it faces downwards because it's now going for selling liquidity. If you understand uh, the liquidity language, you will definitely understand where the market is going, where the market is currently at, why the market is doing what it is doing. Let me turn my arrow down like that. Yes. So all that is left is waiting. But if you can see, your trend line will define your movement and your Bollinger Band settings will help you with that. If it fails to break the trend line many months later then that will mean that it is a strong confirmation so now as you can see it has sold we are in deep profit and if you check it has broken the the middle bollinger band it is up to break the the trend line as well so we wait in this position we cannot just buy it doesn't immediately go down it will go up to hit the stop losses of the early sellers so i'll take advantage of it by buying first so you see as the video says uh the market will start by hitting those stop losses of the early buyers so in this moment we will sell so that we we'll earn quick extra cash to increase our capital so that we can put more positions so i put myself uh it will give me quick back And then we move over to another pair when you close this one. Right, we are in volatility 10 right now. 
in the one hour time frame i'm gonna place my buys and then i'm gonna explain why i'm buying here yeah since my capital is a little bit high right now so it means i can end up more positions bye 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 if you can see that it has made a fake out with the middle bollinger band and it has failed to break it so that is a strong confirmation for a buy and if you set your trend line you will see as well it is a current uptrend and it has liquid it has reached uh, the bottom liquidity of the sell so now it's going for the buy liquidity as you can see over there it becomes very easy if you understand why you are doing in the markets you would stop wasting your time and i would encourage everyone once you make profit please withdraw do not be greedy withdraw because the market might not give you twice so at this moment you can see the strong confirmation for a buy set up my arrow and then wait for the good news to pop up yeah sometimes it takes an hour sometimes it takes minutes sometimes it just takes days but depending with how you trade as long as it is a correct setup it will work out just fine for you two thousand years later but when does this game get good as you can see it is wind up what else can we need here nothing 170 dollars oh that's good money i'm going to withdraw right now and leave my account with a dollar and then i'll start over again i cannot afford to lose money that's one thing you need to go with in trading don't afford to lose money if you are trading withdraw as soon as you can and reserve your capital capital is uh best thing you can keep for yourself just in case so you can come back in the race if all fails in the second run all right do listen and take that note all this money i'm gonna withdraw it right now after i close 188 let me hit home yep and then i've already withdrawn to leave dollar as you can see we withdraw this side we will not keep money for the market to take it back we won't do all that right i'm gonna be withdrawing back to one so now we find new trade so that we can raise that dollar back well at g75 allowed me to put my two position of 0 0.01 so i'm gonna set up my trend lines first some people have a difficult setting their trend lines trend lines are very easy just identify the market structure and pattern then draw it accordance with where it's going join at least three major areas that would help you because you are joining the major areas of resistance so and support so it would best work out in your favor if you join those i've placed my buy as you can see it has failed to break the trend line it has also failed to break the last bollinger band so that's a strong confirmation for a buy it tried to break and then formed a new candle on the inside which means it became a fake out and one thing about fake out they never go in the intended direction 12 seconds later as you can see it has bought so with this i'm sure we have profit gonna be celebrating there like those guys so from 96 cents we are now in three dollars 52 cents what can we do now this means that we can increase our positions a little bit on the next trade so now we are in jump 50 one index jump 50 sorry it's not one index it's just jump 50 i started to put a little bit of more positions because the three dollars can now allow me to do that as that video just said uh if our capital is a little bit high 
then it means that we can put more positions i am placing my buy positions loads of them loads of them uh that trade gave me 16 bucks so yeah i'm gonna get loads of position in jump 50 and then i'm gonna show you why i bought the same with the first trade that i took it was again like this if you checked the market is downtrend so it's going for now the buy liquidity since it is uh, top sale liquidity it has failed to break the last bollinger band it has failed to break the 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 trend line so again strong confirmation for a strong buy if you just keep doing this over and over and over and again you'll find yourself with one million dollars because you won't be trying too many strategies you just stick to one which is very easy not confusing all you have to do now is wait all you have to do now is wait so that's how i measured my tp in there after that then i'll just wait wait for everything for nature to take its course tomorrow I kind of fell asleep on this trade so that is why it went so up there while I'm still in yeah I set up my put up my setup and then went to sleep straight because I had confidence in this trade I knew that it wasn't gonna go down because it failed to break the trend line it failed to break the last Bollinger Band as I've said since the beginning of this video so that's one thing you need to understand guys set up your Bollinger Band setting in your account in your MT5 and then use trend lines that's an easy strategy that you can get there you see 800 and, 800 and something dollars now i'm withdrawing that money withdraw all of it and leave one dollar for my next video for you guys thanks i do hope we meet again